I, um, let's do this. You guys should be on mute. It's tell me if you're not. I mean, I can hear you, so I okay. on mute. Okay, yeah, let, let me switch the music on. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome! We're here. To, to podcast 11. We got that. It only took like three podcasts to get to 11. <laughs> Wait, is that a different song? Yeah. <laughs> It was Pokemon. It was the very best by JME, who's like some weird British grime artist. But he he did a Pokemon uh, remix, and I was like, Pokemon! <laughs> because you didn't change like I, the little music. I'm not gonna freaking make a new picture for one day. I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm a lazy person. Where's the commitment, Kamal? Josh, wh- where? Else. I don't know. Where is the commitment, Josh? I don't know, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> Well, but no one knows. No one knows. Screw your face. Screw your face. Okay. I can cut. Okay. So, hello, yeah, Anne. It definitely was pretty, it was pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's it's actually a really good song. People, you guys should check it out. It's it's very it's it's a nice little remix of a yeah. classic. Um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna try a little something actually. Nah, nah, something. no. Let's not let's not do that. Let's let's not let's not let's not Wait. Let's just keep... Something, something. Okay, yeah, I am. I'm gonna try a little something. But anyway, um, so, how 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 are you guys? Mainly Josh. Tired. <laughs> I don't think I slept till like two. Yeah. Well, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. You may not be able to tell. I'm tired, but I'm always tired. That's because you don't sleep. Tired just, of life. You know, you should just sleep. Maybe. Sleep stops you being tired. Sleep is for sleep is for the sleep. weak. Sleep, no, sleep is for the sleepy. Tell, tell we explain why Luke goes. Uh, yeah. Um, He's not here. Don't Luke, <laughs> Luke's playing Smite. <laughs> yeah, Luke. Got to play again, so he plays Smite instead. <laughs> yeah, he sent me an image. He's like, I went all the way down to Cardiff and I'm playing Smite. So that's Luke. Hey Ben. We could have had we could have had Cardiff, Luke though. We, I mean, we could. I feel like if we asked, he probably would have. So. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I I think he should be out now, right? He better be out now. He won't. He, he just wouldn't let you go out and do it. He yeah. better not be out. He said he was gonna be here in the podcast. <laughs> if only. Um, Luke, right. Look, if you're in the chat, you go and enjoy your night out. Go do it. Okay, okay. Uh, we're, 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 yesterday we gave a key out. Ben got the key, <laughs> and we're we're gonna do another giveaway this stream. Um, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to give it to a stranger because that would be fun. But if not, yeah. we'll give it to whoever whoever's whoever kills me at the end of this. Yeah. Um and uh yeah, let's get let's get on with it. Let's get on with the news. Let's let's, let's, so let's go on to the first bit of news. I think the most important bit of news. It's Pokemon Day. It is Pokemon Day. It's Pokemon Day, and that was the reason for the intro music. And that and that is the reason that if you go to the front page of Twitch right now, Pokemon is everywhere. Don't though, obviously. Don't just. don't do that. Why would you be so rude? No, Why you gotta be so go rude? It's a, it's a it's a 24 hour stream, so you just it go is. and do it afterwards. Oh my God. Plus, they're not even they're not even at the good part right now. Right now, they're still playing like the old games, which is nice. But the good part is gonna be when they show the movie marathon. That's the good part, and we're not gonna let oh you miss God. that. We'll be done. Yeah, we'll Look, if they started that right now, we will close this freaking podcast and we'll all yeah, go we'll watch Pokemon leave. movie. Yeah, we'll marathon. Just Pokemon. Just get crash Pokemon stream instead. The thing yeah, is, like... happy Pokemon Day! Happy Pokemon Day, SB. Pokemon Day was yesterday for us. I mean, no, you're upside down. Charlie. No, it's it's whenever Pokemon says it's Pokemon Day, and they yeah, say it's Pokemon, Pokemon Day today. Po- so that means there are two Pokemon. Days. No, it just means Pokemon no, Day is the 28th for you, but the 27th for no, us. That's just, all it means. Whatever time it was when it started, 24 hours from then to you as Pokemon. Yeah, Day. Pokemon only has one 24 20th anniversary. It's not like you don't have a birthday in every time zone. You have one yeah, birthday. No. Because fly to each country. Cause that would be, uh, hey Geek and Super, happy Pokemon Day. Happy because Pokemon that Day would be real. cheating, Josh. Yes. That that would be cheating. Well, I want all the cookie cake. Profitable though. Well, profitable cheating. <laughs> True. Yeah, look, yeah, no, I'd do it. If I, if I go, I'd just like, travel like, every. You time just want like, you yeah. just want more cookie cake. Just arrive at the airport. Yeah. I was like, Where's my cake? On on like on the on a tangent from like the fact that it's Pokemon Day and that is epic. Oh, well, you know what we should do? Every, everyone, sh- everyone should say what their favorite Pokemon game is. Ooh, mm. 
and what their favorite Pokemon is. <gasps> Shock oh, horror! I got the spot here. I wasn't ready for this. Okay, so okay, I'm just my favorite Pokemon game. Uh huh. I'm gonna say it was probably gold because I was like kind. Of, I was like six, six or seven when the, the red and blue came out, so I didn't like play it properly. Yeah. So, I was like, old enough to properly like it when red and when gold and silver came out. Yes. And, so yeah, mine, mine's, mine. mine's silver. Oh yeah, <laughs> mine's <laughs> silver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it was pretty much the same reasons. Like, um, I but even then, like, I was I was still pretty young at the time. Like, but I had it like I had it from my older brother, um, mm. silver. So like, I got it. I got into it later. There was other Pokemon out at the time, but like, I had that one copy, and it's yeah. like I'm gonna play this one, you know, and uh, yeah, and I did. Me and my brother always got like, the opposite version, so like, I got red, he got blue, like, I got gold, he got silver, and then it just Makes kept sense, going. so you can trade, oh, like... Oh, Ben, Ben, yes. Mine was also gold! Freaking repping, this chat, this chat knows what's up. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! Everyone is gold. Josh uh, is your favorite among gold as well. Yeah, what's yours, Josh? It could, it could be, like, an offshoot color of gold. Like, it's in the, the dairy. Josh doesn't have a favorite Pokemon, does he? Have you ever played no, a Pokemon well, the thing game? Is that I haven't played very... I feel like I haven't played as many as you guys have. Uh, like, the only ones I probably fully played through were Emerald and Yellow. Mm -hmm. Really? So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with Yellow. Yellow was... Uh, yeah. Yellow was right. Oh, I mean, yellow was the first enough. Pokemon game I have somehow. I got Yellow before I got Red, I don't know why. I don't know what my first Pokemon game was. Um, yeah, gold, Gold's still the best. Okay, Pokemon. Pokemon. Say X, fucking no. Say X. <laughs> I think Look, I've got y, but they it's added fine. a lot of new stuff in X, and it was 3D. SB Pokemon Pearl, what? Jesus. What Sad this? to confess it. Look, we 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 respect all different kinds of Pokemon colors in this um, podcast, <laughs> so you know. But that that is a that is a curveball, that Pokemon Pearl. Um, what? That's so, what I have. What, what's your favorite Pokemon? I'm gonna get so much hate for this. My favorite Pokemon is My, Crobat. Mine is. Really? Yeah, I like, I like <laughs> you stop me in my tracks there? <laughs> no, yeah, I don't know. I like Crobat. I don't know why. Was it like, Even is this like I'm... a childhood love that just like never burned out? Because everyone, like, everyone in my school hated Zubat. Mm -hmm. So what I did was, what I'll do, I'm, I'm going to make an awesome Zubat. Yeah. And then it evolved into Golbat, and then it evolved into Crobat, and it was like OP, and no one else had one, so it was my own special Pokemon. Yeah. Even though, because I was colorblind, I don't see it in the right color. I mean. Well, I am colorblind. Sure. Okay, like that's that's fair. Mine mine is super generic, so I'm also like embarrassed by mine. But mine is Charmeleon, like specifically yeah. that ev evolution. Like uh, Char Charizard's cool, and uh, but like Charmeleon's the man. Yeah, Ch Charmeleon is the man. Charmeleon is pretty sweet. Definitely my favorite starter. That's uh, mine. Mine's uh, uh, also very Charmander. generic. Charmander. Charmander. Yeah. yeah. Look, no. Charmeleon is just like the cooler version of Charmander. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he's got like he's got like that badass look on his face, like <laughs> I ain't giving no damn. He ain't taking. He ain't taking. Yeah, and, and, and as a kid, I was just like, he's so cool. Yeah, he's so cool. Really <laughs> <laughs> I want a fire tail too. Jigglypuff. Wow, be more be more generic girl and just the pink. Oh, uh, do you remember like in the anime, like the Jigglypuff oh, the song? Jigglypuff was amazing. <laughs> oh my god, the Jigglypuff song, man. <laughs> Song and then, and then she and then she get mad like when people fall, fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> just, like, I loved it. Oh god, the nostalgia is too real right now. I'm kind of I'm kind of interested to see what everyone else's favorite on it. SB goes with Ponyta. Uh no, nah, legit, Look, legit. Velfax, solid shout. I like Velfax. Velfax is pretty cool. Yeah, these are these are some solid non-generic Pokemon like me. They're not, yeah, these are pretty good. They're not scrubs like I am. <laughs> No one else is gonna say Crobat. No one else in the world is gonna say Crobat. No, you are you are a unique butterfly. I, I am a special sunflower. With you, my you you make a good hipster. I, I am a hip. Why am I such a hipster in all the <laughs> games I have? Why? <laughs> Actually, no. Legit. Whenever I play um Pokemon, I always don't pick like the most generic Pokemon. I always go like deliberately don't Eve catch like ones that are everywhere. Eevee is my second favorite. Eevee is my second favorite. Like yeah, every, but like favorite. like not a specific evolution of like the Eevee. Like not even Eevee itself. Like just Eevee as like kind of the group. Because I always I always own every Eevee. Like I make it like my job in every game to like make sure I have every Eevee. Mm. Um. So yeah. Uh. It's it's a pain in the butt sometimes. Just gonna get one and then breed the hell out of it. 
So much walking. Uh, <laughs> Wait, so, so you've got the evolutions on every game you've had? Yes. All these... <laughs> that's, a lot, that's a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. The new one even had, they added a new they added a new one and it was such a pain to get. Wait, was that the that was the fairy one? Yeah, right? the fairy type. What I forgot. You have to do for that one? I forgot, but I I just didn't remember it was a pain in the ass. It's like sl 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 or something. Yeah. I don't freaking know how it's pronounced. There's no Vulpex Merc. I don't believe that. There must be Vulpex Merc somewhere. Ah. I, I assume at the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now now was the age of the internet. There is Merc for everyone. Yeah, Merc for all of these. Crowbat Merc, I'm, I'm Google it. So there's no Crowbat Merc. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I think we've reminisced about Pokemon <laughs> enough. Oh, look at the Crowbat Merc. Like, while you do that, what, what, what else do we have? There is Crowbat Merc! Oh my there is Crobat Merc. Ooh. What else? What else have we got on our roster of things that we need to go through today to call it a day? Because I just want to go to sleep. Wow. <laughs> that was the <laughs> correct attitude towards life. The, 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 con the continuation of the Pokemon thing. Uh, they announced, or at least they hinted at the new Pokemon stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. They the, like it leaked, and then the next day they announced they they released an announcement video. I could show it, but like they really don't show any gameplay. So unless anyone in the chat wants to see it, it's literally them going like showing kids playing on DSs, going collect them, love them, or whatever. Like it's meant to be like that's how you that's how you Pokemon like it's it's like a nostalgia trip trailer, and then and then it goes through every like it shows a clip of every Pokemon. They're like nineteen ninety whatever, nineteen ninety eight, nine. 2000, 2003, 2006, 2012, 2016. Like, that's, uh, and the like, new Pokemon coming. But they showed nothing. Hello, it's, Zufu. It's, it's Zufu. Pokemon Sun and Moon, apparently. Oh. Yeah. How are you doing? Hey, up, Zufu. Oh, yeah. Zufu, what's your favorite Pokemon? Tell us. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Um, and I'll kill you in the game. <laughs> if, you get, if you get it wrong. Um, it's clearly a right answer. Is this a podcast in relation to Spawn Camper podcast? N no. No, I'm so I'm so, I'm sorry no. to disappoint you potentially. <laughs> what are you gonna say? I don't know. I, I, I don't know who that is, but I don't know. Check us out. Uh, no, we're different. Um, and yeah. hopefully also good. I would um, say hopefully better. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know who this guy is. He might be like super know. professional. I'm go you're good and depressing. I'm good and happy. Yeah, well, yeah that, that's my job. Centers. Well, is it like the same Pokemon Center where it's like got the market inside as well, or is it? Tell us, tell us these things. So, so uh, Pokemon Moon and Sun, right? Moon I was, I, I was interested it, in what the name was gonna be, you know. And yeah. There you go. Dude. That's what, that's what we got. I don't mind the name. It's alright. There've been worse ones. I think I did. I think I liked X and Y less actually. So. Yeah, X and Y seems like meh. Nah. But have they? They haven't. And weird new bird Pokemon. Wait, how, have they released more information since then? Somebody look Apparently. it up. Apparently. Somebody look it up. I'll look it up. Put one some on something. Because I haven't seen it. Serves legal notice. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 we didn't know, I swear. <laughs> um. Right. Um. Okay. So. I'm, 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 I'm just having a quick... It's gonna have it's gonna have that new like fire water type Pokemon in it, isn't it? That we talked about yeah, a lot of that. That the Pokemon yeah. that, that breaks the meta of Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, but didn't they do that in the last one? Didn't they have like a f flying fighting or something like that? I, I I think so. I think, but hasn't there been flying fighting before? No, huh. I don't think so. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not super good. I'm not super good with my Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that that I think it was that weird. At least not the, nowadays. The, the Mexican wrestler bird from the last generation was the first flying fighting one. Mexican what Mexican wrestler. wrestler? I don't remember its name. It was like a bird, and it was like it looks like a Mexican. It looked, it, looked, it looked like a Mexican wrestler. <laughs> Hence, Mexican wrestler. Bird. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna Google it, and I'll tell you what it's called. Huh? Okay. Um, right. So more, so, more stuff, more stuff. I, I want to see. Is there anything that I really want to talk? How It was called How you know what we should talk about? What should we talk about? Come on, tell us. Remember, you know VR? You know how we always, like, yeah. every two podcasts, no, basically, there's no, more VR, VR news? Tell us. Yeah, we do talk about VR a lot. We do, right? That's just so much. It, look, it's it's the year of VR! Yeah. Um, the HTC Vive got um, 
like it's pre-order announced. It's the 29th of February. So two days, guys. And they actually announced the uh, they announced the price already as well. Does anybody want to guess? Does anyone who, or, or do you guys know? Uh, Have you read it already? Not, not very, I feel like um, I looked, but I can't remember. Okay. The number Oculus is five ninety nine. Five hundred and ninety nine dollars. How it's much do you think the Vive is? I'm That's the Steam to, one. I'm gonna say they want to undercut Oculus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But not by much, so it's gonna be like four hundred and fifty quid. Okay. Josh? Three hundred? Do you want okay, it is eight hundred dollars. <laughs> so you're very very wrong. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why it was definitely going to be more expensive than the Oculus. So um, the Steam one, the Vive has this has a room tracking system that comes with it, and you have to like put these four like they call them lighthouses. You have to put them around uh, like the oh, corners so of your room. Yeah, so you can like actually get up and walk around with the headset on and like move your hands and stuff, and it'll pick it all up in like a three D virtual space. So it has a lot more tech in it than the Oculus does anyway. So it, it would never be able to undercut it. Honestly, I'm surprised it's that close. Like they're both, ex like it's ex extortion. It's so expensive. Yeah, they are ex I mean, they're they're so, so expensive. People are still gonna buy it. Like as soon as it comes out, people are gonna spend oh, yeah. stupid like, money to get it. I'm not gonna buy it. I don't. <laughs> I, I, do, I refuse to spend that much money on that. Like, look, the Even only way- you had the money? The only way I- Like, unless I had a ludicrous amount of money, I have the money. I don't have tons of, like, excess, bro. I'm not a millionaire, you know? Yeah, don't have, like, throwing well, around money, you just throw about. Throw about that come yeah, if I had money to throw around, sure, whatever. But, yeah. um, uh, but, like, my issue is there's not- There's not any games that are gonna sell me on it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's if- Yeah, if, it's gonna need, like, a really strong, like, launch platform. Yeah, it, yeah if there was, like- games to that, yeah. If there was a game that was just like, oh my god, that game makes VR, like, that game shows the reason why VR needs to exist, maybe that could sell me, but I don't think that's a thing that's going to happen anytime soon. Plus, plus the fact is, like, you, if you're going to run VR, like, I already have this, I'm lucky, but, like, most people don't, you need a beast of a computer, and, and you just, you need, it's so, it's such an expensive endeavor. Oh. I'll buy it uh, and not I use can, it. I can, I can move on about that. What? It's in the right... So, about you said having needing the beast of the computer. Yes. Um, because of the whole VR thing, Steam have already released an um a test software or something, mm -hmm. which is going to, like it'll run like a test on your system and tell you whether you're ready for VR or not. Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. So it's a, it's oh. like a downloadable software for free. It's free on Steam, so like, anyone can download it if you've got a Steam um, account. Yeah. And I think it tests three different things. I think it's like. I will check on the thing, but I'm pretty. It tests your general performances, and then I think it's. Uh, you have more money than sense, Diane. Yeah. <laughs> it tests your, oh, actually, your GPU and your CPU, and yeah. then it tests how like it tests how many frames you can do in frames below like 90 FPS, and your CPU, but how many yeah. are CPU bound? Yeah. And then it gives you like a. I think it looks it. It's kind of vague, so it's it's got three categories: not ready, capable, and ready. Right. Which I feel like that's not. Yeah. If, helpful. If you go look up like the like the the hard specs, like uh, the written stuff, I think for both Vive and uh, Oculus, it's like a minimum graphics card nine seventy. So Josh, you meet the minimum requirements. Mm. Hell yeah. How much did minimum, minimum? How much? How much did minimum cost you, Josh, for our audience? I'd rather not say. <laughs> fair, uh, so fair <laughs> minimum costs about four hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. That's the minimum, so that's like just about right. So, so you know, so you want, so let's say I am Anne and I own no decent gaming equipment, <laughs> yeah. and I want to get into VR because I saw like I saw VR and I was like, this is amazing, right? Is so so first, right? first I have to build a computer was $500 worth of graphics card, about $300 worth of CPU, about another $200 worth of extra parts, probably $100 worth of memory. Um, so what we're talking about, there's like $1,000 in computer. And then I want I want the full experience. You know, I want to be I want to be able to get around and walk around if I'm going to invest this much money in it anyway, right? So I buy the Vive because it's linked to Steam. I don't buy the Oculus. So that's another $800. And then I need a room in my house that I can just like put this stuff in. So you buy so, a new house. So I buy a new house. <laughs> there you go. 
<laughs> and then you remodel your house. Because you need like the VR world. Yeah, you need a VR room, or like you need at least a very big room that you can like move your couch out of, like when you yeah. want to play VR. So that's like ig ignoring the fact that you need the space. That's a thousand eight hundred dollars we're talking about. Probably Come on, twelve hundred. Aye, aye, aye. I feel like you don't really need a new house. No. Yeah, I but you know, everyone always thinks it's such e a fact to do VR stuff because you've got to have so much space. Yeah. Or you'll just end up smashing everything and knocking stuff over and banging your shins and stuff and it'll be a right pain in the ass. <laughs> Truth. But Kamal has plenty of free room. I mean, I do. We're not talking about me. I don't need a yeah, new computer talking... either. <laughs> yeah, so Kamal's okay. But yeah, I only have to spend $800. Not like you yeah. flabby ends that have to spend no, 1800 <laughs> I mean, a house is exponentially more expensive. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just surprised that both of these companies think that this year is the year, and I'm like, no, man, like may maybe five years. Like people aren't ready for this yet. I don't think so. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but I feel like I feel like people aren't ready for this yet. No, no, I, don't, no. I mean, yeah, nah. You need a new everything. Well, I'll, I'll live vicariously through all the other people who have VR. Yeah, I'll just watch some video of reviews on it and just be <laughs> glad I didn't spend so much money on it. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay, so, moving on. Moving on. I, I, again, I saw an interesting video by Jim Sterling. What was it about? A few days ago. It was about how increasingly AAA dem de devs and game companies are f more frequently releasing like unfinished games and the people are just like, oh, that's just normal. Yeah. Because it was after. Yeah, the, and it sucks. So that's the attitude. Yeah, and it was. It was. I think it was based on when Street Fighter Five, because it Five, came out. Yes. And yeah, was, I think that's it. Because Street Fighter they, Five they, was they very hard. Even make, they didn't even make any attempt to hide the fact that it wasn't finished. Like half no. of the um, starting menus were greyed out. Yeah. And like all the stuff yeah. was like, oh, it's going to be coming in patches, but it's going to be free, and like, everyone was just like, oh, well, that's fine. But he went on like, a big talk how it's not fine because that's not how that works. Cause... It's not because they uh, and, like you put them in a, you give them too much power in that position. Yeah. Like I haven't seen this you... video, but like there's just like the obvious points would be like, I I I if a com it's like early access, right? If a company mm. promises me a bunch of stuff, but I've already given them their money, there is nothing holding them to that promise. Like yeah, af after you pass promise. like the Steam warranty period, like you've got nothing. Like they can just be like, ah, this isn't working out they the way we expected. It so yeah. you, send, you could, at the worst point, just end up with half a game. Yep. He did make a couple of valid points. How was like the devs have made um, Street Fighter may have been like pressured by like the competitive multiplayer thing, uh, like rush it and get it out like that. So they only because the main thing they released was the multiplayer aspect, and there was yeah. no story mode and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's possible that's why. But even so, that's like it's alienating. That, say maybe half of your customer base just to appease the hardcore yeah. competitive Did they announce probably... that that's what they were doing though beforehand? No, they or did not they announce it. No, the they just, no. He, that was one of the other things. at least announced that's what that. you're going yeah. to do. That was one of the other main points that he complained about. Was that if they announced and made it very clear in advance that when on the release date it's going to be half a game. <laughs> a, a shell of a game and like the rest of it will be released in installments or on this date or whatever. That would be fine because then if you didn't only want the, the multiplayer experience, you'd be like, "Well, I'll just not get it yet." Yeah. But yeah. there was they never said they didn't say a th single thing about it, and so people could be buying it thinking, "Oh, I'll get I'll get the full game," and then they didn't. So yeah, yeah. This, I think they said if you like did a lot of research into it and read into it on reviews and stuff and checked like their websites and stuff, you'd know that it was going to be released as like a half game. Yeah. But it shouldn't be on the customer to do that. It should be on yeah. them. It should be on the developer to announce how they're releasing their game. I don't know. Do you think? Okay, like I want to play devil's advocate a little bit. Um, mm. <laughs> do you think that we're like as a community, companies are feeling too much pressure to make games bigger and better than they can, like with the resources that they have, and that's why they they can't meet release windows and stuff. Like if we think about Hitman, which is coming in pieces, right? Um, mm. which is slightly different because they're going to charge you for every piece, but like, it's still yeah. like, it's still, they can't meet the launch window. So they decided to make it an episodic game. And it's but, like, do you I think, feel... do you think people are just say... expecting it's... Hitman to be way better than it can be was the resources yeah, they have? That they, they can't meet the date, but they set the date. That's true. So 
if they they know what te- what they're capable of in the development terms and how many st- how much staff they have and what they have to do with that staff and with the tech that they have, yeah, they could they need to re- they would just review it and just think we need to make we'll be able to make it at this state at the earliest. But then yeah. if they factor in like the issues that they might have, I would they'd probably set it back like so a couple of months from them. So yeah, you said that they re- they just dig their own Grave, yeah. problems at that point. Yeah, I mean the other thing is that like. They sh- they would surely they would know the the like the, the fallout and the consequences of releasing a game too early because yeah. we've seen it before plenty of times yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, it's like just ideas, it, it might would, it so just cool. might be a case of like okay let's say like let's say the amount the amount of like have you seen Hitman it looks really pretty right um, it does look really good to me. uh and like and people want you know that type of graphical fidelity and they also want like a lot of levels and a long story right and let's just like let's what what if what if the development cycle for something like that is like six years what if and, and that's too long for a publisher to put money into anymore so publishers go no do it in three and they can't and uh, yeah it's on the publisher's fault it's the publisher's fault for saying that but if the publisher want, like, if the publisher wanted them to do something reasonable, they'd have to cut the game into like half the game. It's gonna be anyway. Like, it'd, it'd be less graphically impressive. There'd be less it's levels so it's, in it's it. It's kind of like it's kind of like a balancing act. Yeah. Trying to get all your like your, the, get, yeah, keeping all modern with all they're the trying, tech, yeah, they're trying to push. They're trying to expectations. Yeah, yeah, they're trying. They're trying to push like it forward technologically. Maybe, and the thing is, like, I like I'm saying this, but I don't even like I don't even agree with it because like. I don't think people really care that much about like how graphically fancy your game is. Like if it plays yeah, well. Graphics are like, are like no. not even like in the top three of like why I would buy a game. Yeah. But then uh, it, it it does depend on like the, the individual customer at that point. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, it can be superficial. Yeah, lots of people buy a game because it looks super pretty and nothing else. But yeah. like people buy Firewatch do you think that, that because it's pretty. Yeah. Do you think that if they actually took an extra year or two to finish a game and like perfect it, I guess. Do you feel that the game would last longer, so that any, so that they'd be still making money into the like the next IP? I feel like they've probably looked at it and they found that when they release games that are half a game like Street Fighter, they sell about the same amount of units. Like the fall off, the people that are annoyed that don't buy it is tiny, and they're yeah, like, they're, oh, they're, and they're, they're like, this is like, like, yeah, this is quicker. This is a quicker way to get money. So we're gonna keep doing it. I feel like that's yeah, probably that's, what's happened. No if, doubt. if it's like a big, if it's a big triple A dev, like they're gonna have the hardcore fans who are gonna buy it no matter what. Yep. So the only people who would be dropping off are the people who were like unsure if they were gonna get the game in the first place. So they would just count that as just mm-hmm. normal loss. Yeah. Or you have so. someone like. I, I, I was really annoyed with that on Street Fighter because I looked at Street Fighter and it looked really cool and I saw some people playing it and I was like, oh, this looks. So it's really nice, and and then I found out like it was a shell of a game, and I was like, oh, I guess I'm not picking that up. Because it's also like... the multiplayer servers are kind of broken. Yeah, that so as well. They, like... Even even the bit that they released doesn't really work properly mm-hmm. either. Sad, sad. Which is times. absurd. Yeah, so it's it's not ideal for AAA developers right now. I don't see it stopping anytime soon. I think well, no, it's not. It, it it needs to. There needs to be a huge thing. You know, like stop. the indie scene, or like what we consider indie games, like. You know how it's getting bigger and bigger? I feel like yeah. that's just gonna like slowly encompass AAA games and it's slowly just gonna become that. Yeah. And that's yeah, probably yeah, what we need. That. Especially because you hear everything you hear about indie games are usually really good. Yeah. Like when you get like stuff like Firewatch and like Undertale, mm-hmm. they get nothing but like glowing reviews and how they did it on such a little budget. And whenever like AAA games appear in the news and stuff, it's always a negative thing. It's like how yeah. they're not managing expectations, they're releasing half games. And, and like, companies like uh, EA have been kind of uh, testing the waters in the sense of like, what would happen if we made an NDS game like uh, Unraveled? And it came yeah. out fairly well. It and went like, really well. Yeah, and if they keep putting money into that, I feel like that might be the direction gaming goes in. And I, I wouldn't mind it because honestly, like I'm, yeah, I'm done good. with the skins. The skins of different games they put on the same game again and again at Ubisoft and at mm-hmm. EA. And whatever, it's like, oh, Far Cry 5, Far Cry 4, but with this, Far Cry 6, yeah. Far Cry 5, but with this, and it's like, do I yeah, freaking so give it that? Assassin's Creed's probably the worst example of yeah. it. Yeah. Which is why Assassin's... I don't mind they, why they took that break. Yeah. Yeah, they needed to, to take that break. To reevaluate. Mm-hmm. 
to stop playing assassins, but in insert vague country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And where's insert new thing that and isn't with, very important. Ins yeah, with insert new game mechanic, like boats or yeah. carriages. Just, the thing with Grappling Assassin's hooks. Creed is that yeah. you, it, you'd need to focus more on the story than anything. Yeah. Yeah. Which I still think should be the main that, That's what drives it, but I feel like they're trying to It's also to not what I think of that. Yeah. Mm. Like, you know Ubisoft gave up on the Assassin's Creed story when they were like, You're in a video game! Meta as hell! Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's no. Like, meta we are, guys. No, <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Why? <laughs> was that the trend then? Was that the thing? What, like, to be meta? Yeah. No, I... Th I, I, I like it, it was the mm. kind of... At least, this is my opinion of what happened with Assassin's Creed from, like, a fan's perspective. Uh, up till 3, they had a very focused story. They knew where they were going. And, and it was to an end. Like, it was to an end to the entire thing. But also, Assassin's Creed made them mad money. And and then they completely rewrote it. Like, if you play 3, you'll realize that the ending is, like, the most haphazard mess ever. And it's just an excuse to make more Assassin's Creed games. And then from there on, they, they went like, okay, so now how do we make these games so that we can keep making more of them? And they were like, well, if we make Abstergo a game development studio that makes Assassin games, we can just make infinite games. It's in yeah, we did set a perpetual machine, you need to do whatever you like. Yeah, and, and that's where they went. And like, so the story of Assassin's Creed is literally there so that they can make Assassin's Creed. Like, it's the worst, it's the worst kind of story to have in a game. Yeah. <laughs> The story that it's only story exists that so the game exists. Making their own game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not a fan. <laughs> not impressive. Yeah. Um, GG. Speaking of Ubisoft. What? Why is that Ubisoft news? Yeah. Oh, have yeah. you not seen this? No, no, yeah. no. I have not. I just you wanna explain to us. Uh, apparently, there's a hostile takeover. There's a, yeah, is there's this a that company yeah, but... that begins with V that tried to hostile the takeover them? Yeah, the Venti, Venti. yeah. Yes. They do yes, this. They, they do this. That's like their whole thing. The whole thing is hostile yeah, takeovers. Because they used to own Activision, I believe, before yeah. it went bankrupt. And it was fairly hostile how they got that as well. Yeah, and, and then they they've also acquired a mobile gaming platform, I think, that used to be owned by the Gillymott brothers who own Ubisoft. Yeah. So, and I think they they'd already. They're taking all of their stuff. They're like, why won't you leave us alone? <laughs> I think they'd, they'd already bought about, I think it was about 15% of the. Stock shares in the in the Vancouver Damn. yeah part of Ubisoft, and they were possibly poised to take more within the next I think week or so. Wow, it's just like that, yeah, that is not going to be a good thing because they they like when they had Activision they just made it a worse company. And it's like yeah, Ubis Activision. Ubisoft does not need help to gain at all. Yeah, Act Activision just tanks, right? So, yeah, and was the last game Activision made? Call of Duty X. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they're, they're calling for uh, investors in Canada to try and push them back. Yeah. So guys, please. This is I'm a this is a weird a weird sad thing that can happen when you float a company on the stock market. Like it's such an odd mm -hmm. thing to think like that like you can do that to a company like you could just buy it out and they can not want it. But I guess that's the risk you take when you put the stocks up for sale. The Vendi on Blizzard. Yeah, oh. I just saw that. And they own, they own Blizzard, they own Sierra Entertainment, which does software for consoles. They own Sierra Online, which does online casual games. They own Blizzard? What? Yeah. Fuck, they Blizzard, bro. Blizzard, I loved you. Vivendi Mobile Games, which apparently is now defunct. And uh -huh. they bought Fox Interactive. That was that was the one thing I found out the other day that Blizzard was acquired by Activision, and that happened what like yeah I remember when that happened. Years ago but, or something. But I thought when Activision mm. became independent that they would have become independent. Mm. But I guess Activision left the Blizzard part in there, probably cheaper way of exiting. Mm. Mm. Huh. Weird. I, I, yeah, I, but yeah, yeah, Ubisoft definitely does not need any more help to be all screwed up and broken no no they got that they got that but i guess i guess like um if if they're letting blizzard do their own thing maybe they've learned their lesson do, so it, do, you, do you think that vivendi grand buying shares and stuff forcing the company to buy the shares back for more expensive no um that's not usually their plan their plan is usually like 
I, I've read about them. Make, Increase their own portfolio of things. Yeah, so. they do. They they buy they buy out companies that they think they can make better. Yeah, but they they're, they're not into they're negotiations. Yeah, no. no, they're all about the hostile takeovers. Mm -hmm. They're and like we ha we have money. Got, why not? <laughs> when they got Vivendi Mobile, they overtook it in two thousand and six, and it was defunct and ceased operations by two thousand and nine. Well, so then, we can make this not, better. Yeah, yeah. What got, what got these idea. guys into games? <laughs> Why are they so insistent to like freaking ruin game studios? <laughs> well, they're already in the media. Well, yeah. We've already made all the errors, guys. This time we know what not to do, so yeah. we'll be fine this time, right? True. Right, so while we're talking about like game devs screwing up and stuff like that, they mm -hmm. get another smaller company is showing people how to deal with it, and it was about Trine 3. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they, I heard about this. I heard they about apparently this. people weren't very happy with that trying to do when it got released. And yeah, it was a bit buggy, the, it was a bit subpar. Which we is, to be fair, that's not too bad in comparison to how lots of games no, launch now. Yeah, it's still, it was but still this, fairly well reviewed, like it was still considered a pretty decent game. still admitted to the fans that they screwed up and wanted to make amends on AM, AMA on Reddit. Yes. And I think the important thing they did was they put all of their personal Reddit accounts in the start of it, so like, they can get they can get caught about any angry in their people now. <laughs> so I, I, I was thinking about it, and that is that's put, putting a pretty big level of trust in like their fans. Yeah. Because like, if they just put it on anyone, they could just get bombarded by a bunch of really angry internet people. I'm gonna be the pessimist here. Of course. Why okay. change things? I know, I know me and Kamal discussed this lightly. Yesterday. Yeah. I'm gonna be the pessimist here and tell, tell you what I told Josh. When when I read that, I realized that they were saying, oh, we're making a new game and we want to get your trust back. And it's like, of course you want to get the trust back because you're making a new game and you need someone to sell it to. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's always that area where they, they try to... Um... And it just, it feels like... customer base back to keep that customer base, essentially. Yeah, I, do, I, I just, I don't, I like, I like the Trine developers, and I really don't think this is, this is all of it. Like, I'm sure it's a part of it, because they're not idiots. But, uh, mm. I, I hope they're not just doing it to, so that they have someone to sell to. Like, yeah. I hope that they actually are apologetic. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure it factored into their thing, but yeah. it's, it seemed like this, because if they were just wanted their customer base, they'd just release, like, a survey or something like that, like, in an email of people who bought the Trine account. And stuff. Or they could just move on with the new IP. I guess, but this looks nice. It doesn't have to. It. Yeah, it seems it gives us a slightly more personal touch to doing an AMA sort of thing. Yeah. Especially oh, the addition of the sincere. like the the people. Da, da, mm. da, 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 da. You nice. know, you know, on more indie news, on more indie news, Super Hot came out. Super Hot came yes. out two days ago, and I've already finished it. <laughs> um, it's not a very long game. I'll tell you that. Josh, put, Josh, show me play some. Oh my lord, enemies! Yes. Sorry. Um, uh, <laughs> so let's let's do a let's let's do a mini spawn review. Spawn, spawn, sp 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 I can't think of a of a catchy name for that. <laughs> let's do a spawn point review of Super Hot. Okay, since I'm the only person who really played it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will I will talk about it. Super Heart is a game. I feel like their tagline explains it pretty well. It's a shooter where time moves when you do. So as long as you're not moving time, time does actually move. It doesn't stop completely. It moves comp very very slowly. It moves at a tenth of a millisecond. Pass. There we go. Yes. And uh, as as you move, the faster you move, um, the more like the quicker time moves. Yeah. So I had Kamal trying to get through a level without stopping. Yeah, and it was hell. And it's doable, but it's definitely a lot more difficult. Okay, yeah, I it's like it's like shooter meets puzzle game meets bullet hell game. Like they put you in those sequences in like in like action movies where like there's a million people shooting at you, or even in like regular shooters where there's like a million people in a corridor and you're just running through them like headshotting and crap. And and then they show you that that is genuinely impossible without having the ability to like slow time down. And even then, it's a pain in the butt. Like, I like the way it's, it's just it's a different take on the shooter game because it's like I think we talked about this for when you first heard about it. It's how like usually when you're getting shot, your first choice is to like move or dodge yeah, or yeah. something. Like that. But it's like it t totally turns upside down. Yeah, it's uh it's it's it came out. This was uh, this was on another note. Like it was a Kickstarter game, and I was I was one of the backers, one of the many many backers. They have the longest credit scene at the end because they put all the backers' names in it. Oh my lord. <laughs> 
Um, did, you find, did you find your name in the background? I did. I went through the trouble. Uh, it took ages. Did, it took so did long. Did you take a screenshot and everything? No. <laughs> I was just like, oh, it's there. Cool. And then I moved on. But it's a Kickstarter game that, in my opinion, and in apparently popular opinion with all of the reviews that I've seen, came out really, really well. This is a rare occurrence. This is a unicorn, people. Look at the unicorn. Yeah. Gaze at the unicorn. <laughs> um... <laughs> It, Just don't shoot the unicorn. It might yeah. still be alive. Yeah, yeah unicorn yeah. blood does not make you live forever. No matter what yeah, Harry Potter tells you. Listen. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was Harry Potter, yeah. It just yeah, turns into a reference. weird face on the back of a man with a turban. But um, it, it's really cool. It's really, really cool. It's short, like I said. Um, it's not so, It's not being sold as a full price game. It's being sold at like about 50% RRP-ish. It's like 16 quid, I think. Um... But uh, it's very cool. It's coming to consoles, and it's got a lot of replay value. Like, I finished it. I'm still playing it. I'm doing another run as, uh, like, a Katana-only run. There's a bunch of challenge modes. There's some endless modes with challenges in them. There's a bunch of extra stuff you unlock when you finish it. It's actually got a pretty sick story. It's very uh, fourth wall breaky. Um, it's kind of, you know, like, in the vein of, like, current, like, trends, like Undertale and stuff, like, where... It knows that you're a player playing a game, and it uses that to its advantage. Um, mm. It's it's really nice. It's really well put together. I'm happy. It's 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 portal esque. And I recommend that any of yeah. you that are okay with spending sixteen pounds on a three hour game should buy it. If you're not okay with that, I th I think you might be annoyed. But like, it's so well put together. I'm always person that judges games value by their quality, not by their qu quantity, and. It's yeah, very I mean, you'd, ra you'd rather play a game that like was had give you like say an hour and a half of like fantastic gameplay than one that gave you like eighty hours of like yeah gameplay. Yeah, exactly. That reminds me of that guy who uh, asked the I think it was Reddit whether or not he should refund that game. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's uh, Firewatch, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah Firewatch. Yeah. Yeah, Firewatch is is um, arguably longer than Super Hot. I guess it depends if you're going to replay it or not. Cool. I think this, I think I think so. I watched Sips play it, and he took I think it was about four and a half, five hours. Yeah, I but he got lost a lot. So I think if you I think, I think you did it without <laughs> wandering anywhere, I think it may be like three and a half, four hours maybe. Yeah, huh. but that's still pretty. Um, I would be happy with paying for fire for fire watching, wandering around that pretty good landscapes for like five yeah. hours. You just build get enough like wallpapers to you to cycle through them on your computer for ages. <laughs> No, it dies. Sorry, I was in the high school mode. I think at one point <laughs> I had a folder of, of like Look at how high 150 my images. That yeah, I've got them. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, I've, just got, I've, just, I've just got a firewall. It's just my wall. That's my wall bit right now. I give I give spawn point ten out of ten. Wood back again. <laughs> um. So there you go. That's that's all. That's our mini uh, review for Super Hot. Moving on to more speaking, news. Speaking of reviews, Ooh. I'm gonna continue to flog the Fire Emblem Dead Horse until it comes out. So <laughs> I'm gonna mention it every week <laughs> for the next six months. <laughs> 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 so nice. released, released a review of Birthright and Conquest, mm. and it's it's changed my mind. I'm gonna buy Conquest instead of um, Birthright now. Conquest is the harder one. Conquest is the hard one. Yeah. Okay, so from what I've heard, this isn't this isn't really spoilers. This is just kind of like a blurb type mm. thing. From what I've heard, oh, is December the official release date? Has there been a release date? Until December. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I don't know. Google it, Andy. Double check. But that's what uh, that's what Geek is Super is saying. Um, but yeah, so Conquest is set. So they're different stories, right? Like Birthright is said that you're yeah, like yeah. you're like fighting on the enemy on, on the good side against the enemies, and Conquest is said that you're like a little insurgent team in the enemy side that's like kind of killing them from within. Is what I've heard, and like Conquest is meant to be super duper hard, and Birthright is like a game. Mm. Yeah, Birthright is this like if you want um sort of the it's standard Fire Emblem experience sort of thing. Yeah. But Conquest is like a proper full. It's like XCOM two on the hardest difficulty sort of thing. And why? And why are you sold on Conquest? What about XCOM two on the <laughs> hardest difficulty sells you on a game? <laughs> uh, what about that sentence is appealing to a human being? I, I read it in the um, review, and it was about Conquest. 
it just it's what was it? It's, they, they put a lot more different challenges in, so like they put like environmental challenges and stuff into it. It's definitely more and, game, from what I heard. Yeah, it's more game, and it's I think it's it gets rid of because they said they played both of them and then Birthright felt a bit flat. Mm-hmm. So it was like. Yeah, I enjoyed this game. It's, it's pretty. It's got a lot. It's a solid Fire Emblem game, but it's like you don't really get any like sense of achievement from finishing things. But maybe they're just like too hardcore. Maybe they're like maybe like what about me? What about Scrub McScrub Pants over here who just wants to like have fun? <laughs> it also oh, said they're loud. It also said that um, birth um birthright because you immediately it puts you on the um, good side. Yeah. You get a more wishy-washy standard story. Yeah, I can see that. That's the part that I was sold on on Conquest. That's one of the things that made me feel like, more better because Conquest gives you more. It's more of a, like a morally gray area, so you, it explores more into um. But there's a there's a third game. There is. There's a third game mode. Yeah, that is that isn't on sale, and it's um it's it's you can buy it as DLC after you buy the original game. I forgot what it's called. God damn it! I've read about this. There is a third. Damn it! I'm fine now. I, I don't know where you found this, 20, this December release date. Oh wait, no. no I think I think she's just saying like she expects. Oh, it's gonna. I mean, she's expecting yeah. the worst. Fire emblem. Fate. What if it's not until like me next year? I'll be sad, but I'll still buy it as soon as it comes out. Conquest or birthright or what is the third mode? I haven't even heard of this third mode. There is, there is, there is, I swear. I swear, maybe I'm a crazy person, but I I, 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 I have heard. Give me a second, yeah. viewers. Uh, Andy, yeah, you, you keep talking. I was <laughs> just talking about Fire Emblem, so I've been typing myself up. I've been playing on Fire Emblem. What's the, what's the fucking one I'm playing right now? It's Fire Emblem bloody... Awakening. I have to actually look at the game for that. It's right there. See, look, Fire Emblem Awakening. I've been playing that on classic hard mode. So it's like every time oh, with that, whenever your characters they get knocked out in the normal battles, they die. So I'm I'm, I'm practicing. I'm hyping myself up. I'm getting ready for it. Don't you dare say that, Josh. I've been waiting. <laughs> I know, right? I've been waiting for this. I mean, if you've if you've waited this long, I've, you I've could feel, wait a I little. I know that's longer. not how this works. No, no, they this promised. Way. They promised uh, revelations. Revelations. Mm. Revelation was a physical release as like the special edition in Japan, mm. but it's only getting a DLC release here. Um, and I, 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 I think that's even harder than Conquest. Um, but let me let me read about it. Let me find out more about it. Uh, but yeah, I think you, you're meant to buy one of them and finish one of them, and then like that's like more, even more Fire Emblem, you know. <laughs> Which is good because the next one will not come out until like one of the last like, four years. Um. Okay, so revelations. The excellent third game. branch in the Fire no. Emblem story might be relegated to download only, but it shouldn't be missed. The entirely unique turn base, unique spin on the turn based tactical. Uh, uh, there's starting story a great compromise yeah, I'm, I'm already I'm already game stuck with friend, dealing with the, the, pro the, the release date being prolonged forever for the game I don't I want to know like what's special this. about um, revelations Diane if you know can can you just like hit us up with that info yeah fill this in first there's wisdom apparently it's got casts from both sides on it no, so maybe it's like coming together of the two games sort of thing, I guess? I think, I guess it might be like a third, like, portion of the game set after. Mm. The end of, like, both games. I guess that way you can play at the end of both anyway. Yeah, I'm looking on the website and it says it's, it, it lets you experience the conflict from every angle, so it might, like, branch together, like, the two separate. The third things. and final path arrives as DLC March 10th! I mean, Pokemon will totally come out before Fire Emblem, right? God, Fire... I, I must give them credit, though. This game seems to have so much freaking content. Like Fire a, Emblem is real. A regular content. Fire Emblem game is long enough, and now you can, like, buy another one, or if you own one, you can buy the other two as DLC, and it's just, like, mm. you get three full freaking games. You get a lot of yeah. Fire Emblem. A lot of Fire Emblem, guys. I mean, I think you can turn, like, Awakening into, like, a good, like, 30-odd-hour game. 
Yeah. Because all of your characters, you can get. I think you can get about twenty of them. I'm gonna. I'm gonna characters. play Awakening again. That's my plan. Yeah, I'm playing it right now. <laughs> you can. Um, you've got like twenty odd characters, and then they can all partner up, and then they get you all different characters. Yeah. Uh, when they're married and stuff, so and then you've got to train all out, and you can like, branch them all off in different classes, and then you can reclass them. <laughs> and then you so can much with your things. Game. It's it's absurd. It's like there's so many different classes, and you can reclass people if you don't like them in their classes. And I think I've got one game where I reclassed like they're in the entire M squad. So I've got them all playing ridiculous new roles and just making them super confusing. And it's, you don't need a new DS. It runs on the regular DS, Josh. The regular yeah, DS. Yeah, it runs on the regular one, Josh. I don't want to hear this. Pokemon's coming no, out. Because this one. No, this one. This one. Some some people need uh, a, a one DS for one game. What? So that they can play oh, it simultaneously. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Diane, you're truly an addict. Yeah, this is you. you got, I thought I was bad. You, you got a problem if that's what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've beaten the, I've beaten them by a moment in like five times, but you still have a m more problem than I do. Yeah. That issues, girl. Um. Right, moving on, more news. All the females to Pegasus Knight. Oh my god, I want to do that now. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to know who your favourite um, Awakening character is. Um, Dan, tell me. Your favourite Fire Emblem. Tell him. That's what I said, right? Uh, yes, okay. yeah, you did. Alright, what am I doing? <laughs> next. Next news. I don't know, what, oh. what is next? Okay, so I want to talk about how hackers stole data from Daisy and Armour players on Steam through their. F Oh, the feedback system. Wow. How, how do you get data out of that? So I think. What did it have a is, hole? Did it have a massive hole in it? There's a ma yeah. There was a Mantis feedback tracker system which collects feedback and bug reports on Armor Three and DayZ. And apparently there was a massive security breach in it, and hackers tried to like exploit that. Yeah. And they had to shut down all of the feedback track systems offline. Ooh. And they had to recommend every user who used the feedback website for Armour 3 or DayZ who used the same password on any other sites to immediately change it. Mm. And it's just like... That is a lot of trouble. That, yeah, that is, a, that is a big faff, is what that is. This is why you double and triple check that your software is secure, companies. It costs money, yes, but it saves you money in the long run. And then you don't look like the right day when, like, script kids, like, break into your own. Yeah. Still. Mm. So, yeah, that was slightly embarrassing, especially for, like, games that have got such a massive, like, online following as Daisy and Arm. Yeah. Yeah. They are. I died again. Do you Th those, those games are fairly old now at this point. They're pretty old, yeah. Like... I'm going to get Birthright, by the way, and I'll tell you about how the boring story goes. Because... No, you got, yeah, you got Birthright. Because, look, I, I, was, I was milling it over in my head while we were talking about this, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, too you... much of a plan. <laughs> okay? No, I'm, I'm, I don't do good at many games, but strategy games are my jam. <laughs> <laughs> this is my thing. So that's yeah. that way we have different different games. And then yeah. we can combine yeah. you, them you to can, make a mega me, game! You can tell me how the story goes on yours, and yeah, I'll sit and, and cry in the corner because I'm failing on the third mission for like the eighth time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think yeah, I think Armour's been out for like s at least a solid five years. And yeah. daisy has been out for at least like th three or four, I think. Uh-huh. And they've, but they've got such a, it's such a cult following, so they just keep they keep going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I people who ones. love armor really love armor. You can like, do. I've got, a, I've got a friend on Steam who has been on armor since like the first alpha came out, and yeah. he plays it all the time. Yeah, I have one. Of, I have. A, I have one of those friends too. <laughs> 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 one of those poor, poor people, poor, poor souls. Uh, okay. Wait. W let's let's look at. I still um... want to know who the favorite. Oh, hmm? Severa. Hmm. There you go, you got your answer. Let's talk about the weird thing that happened with Naughty Dog. Yeah. And and, and I want I want you guys to tell me how the hell this happens. Right, so so Naughty Dog released a new Uncharted 4 trailer, right? Cool, 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 Uncharted 4. Pretty game, uh, lots, of, lots of hype. Everyone's happy, right? No, not everyone is happy. Nope. Some, some guy from Ubisoft... Ubisoft isn't. Some guy from no, Ubisoft... Ubisoft is never happy. <laughs> 
Telltale Takeover. They're not happy. Yeah. I don't blame them at that point, to be fair. Though. <laughs> Some guy at Ubisoft was like, wait a sec. That picture frame that you focus on for like a couple seconds in your trailer. I, I know who drew that picture. They drew that picture for our game. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and it turned out it was a, it was some like concept art from Assassin's Creed 4. Uh and it wasn't uh, it wasn't just some concept art from Assassin's Creed 4. It was it was concept art from Assassin's Creed 4 with an Assassin's Creed character photoshopped out of it. Yeah, like the, it was literally yeah. the same picture, but it just they just painted out the assassin. And then and then Naughty yeah, the Dog. Thing is that it looks like it's been recreated because it's like the quality of it is different. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it. I think it. I think it's just some filters. It, I. I don't. Yeah. I don't think it was a complete redraw. It looked like it had a slight sepia tone on it, and that was it. Yeah, but um, it's still, it's a Naughty Dog. Obviously, Naughty Dog's like, oh my god, oh my god, we're so sorry, we're so sorry, and they took the trailer down and they bring it back up like no time later with a different picture. So I have so many questions though for Naughty Dog, like how does that happen? How does somebody? Someone. Someone's obviously known. How does somebody? Because right. you don't accidentally like. I I could see them. I could see them saying we were using it as a filler photo, and then we forgot to remove it. If it was the original picture, but the fact that it's got like the assassin photoshopped out of it. Yeah. That like that makes it yeah, iffy. Yeah, like, sure they would have known that at some point if they photoshopped something out of it. Yeah, that makes it iffy. But at the same time, it's like why would you go through the trouble of doing that? Like even if you didn't get caught, it's just easier to just get a rights for a picture. Like it's yeah, easier. Rather, yeah. Like so, I really don't understand what happened there but that's a thing that happened that i guess we'll never know think, the answer do you to. think do you think some maybe employee lower down just threw it in thinking it's it's only there for a brief second and yeah it's, it's kind just of in there for a cool. second no one will know it, sort of thing. I, no one will notice, i mean yeah. i could see that but it's still like, such a weird it's, thing to think to it's me the internet there's always people who are gonna like super analyze stuff and they get to, they're gonna get found out at some point yeah plus like the i said thing, like they, that company is not going to be like, oh, I don't want to give you some money to buy an image asset for this thing. They're not going to do that. Yeah, like, they're a massive company. They give you like just just buy it. They probably already have a massive it. library of images that they can use. Yeah, it's like we've literally got a library of like thousands of things. Pick one of them. I don't know. It's, the other uh, thing I thought was, what if they were just like Google, you know, Google images and just thought, oh, this looks cool. Like really, and didn't like even think dumb. about it. I, uh, that's a really dumb indie developer thing to do. Though. Yeah, yeah. That's not for a big but, company that's run by Sony that understands that. copyright law. <laughs> like, you can reminds, never Google search an image and use it. That, I freaking that, that, that didn't that do that. I think that, um, the one that Jim, the, the stuff that Jim Sterling has, like, beef with, and um, Digital yeah. Homicide, I think. Yeah. And that they're the ones that got called out for, like, getting all of their blood splatter effects off Google. It was literally the first thing on Google, and it was, like, so badly cut off that they hadn't actually photoshopped the, the white outline around the blood off so it still looked like it had just Jeez. been like cropped off like the google images page yeah I, like, I don't i don't know how you achieve that. Be more professional to do that i don't know how you achieve it um i mean they're not they're not gonna tell us the, the ubisoft image was very snarky i loved uh, the tweet sorry it was very snarky i loved <laughs> yeah, it it was, it was like, like now i get the themes in the title yeah lovely but yeah uh, i mean if you're gonna call someone out you might as well do it in a funny one right yeah, yeah i guess it's uh it's uh, so weird to me so weird yeah it's a bit weird but, eh. i thought it was funny yeah uh, i just i think better of naughty dog so i, I want to know i want to believe that this is a mistake but at the same time i can't see how it could be a mistake yeah but yeah. at the same time, I don't see why you would do it. Like, it's just none yeah, of it makes sense. Lot, there's a lot of confusing things, right? Yeah. So I just, I just added that together. Yeah. We got a follower. Thank you for following. Yeah. Gaming yeah. was Teddy. I can read it. I could read that oh, one. You did it. You did it. Good job. Because he has a clear name and he separates his name with underscores. Thank you for that. Like, like a real <laughs> professional. Yeah. The yeah, amount of times we get followers that I can't read. <laughs> Oh, I also thank Dan and Wartburg for retweeting our tweet about us going live. Ah, oh, yeah. Thank you, Wartburg and Diane. Yeah. I thought you said Anne for a second there. I was like, I'm not going to yeah, thank Yeah, Anne doesn't use Twitter. I'm though. not going to thank Anne. No, you can't thank Anne. Not allowed. <laughs> um, no, no. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Anne. Um, Dan... Done. Uh, wait, what, what were we talking about? What were we talking about? I got sidetracked by the massive you yeah that like you and you I swear to God, this that. podcast is gonna make me deaf. Let's talk about how Firefighters now announced for Halo Five. 
the one thing that might bring me back to playing Halo because I like Firefight. Oh, and Griff Ball came out, and 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 the um the CE uh pistol came back, like you know the hand cannon oh, that would one shot yeah, everything. The they brought that back. Say, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, so much things happened to Halo. Uh, but yeah. yeah this really it only announced it's gonna the firefight's gonna come out this year. A bunch of big updates coming then. Five so firefights is, isn't here yet, but it's coming. Uh hmm. But uh Griff Ball Griff Ball's already out, which is cool. And these are all free because like firstly because kind of they should have been there already. But also yeah, um, should, yeah. also because of their like their whole promise that levels and maps and everything are gonna be free because of the uh the um rec system that they're using now instead. So, like, I guess we're seeing some of the payoff to that system that people kind of complain about a lot. Mm. Uh, but that's cool. I'm, yeah, I, I, I'm going to stop playing Halo again. System, personally. Yeah. I'd, but I will come back when um, Firefight gets uh, announced. I will come back and play it. So. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I want to I play Griff Ball because I am actually someone who's never played Griff Ball. <laughs> you never played Griff Ball? I've never played Griff Ball. And Luke was oh, telling me does. about it and it sounded really cool. And I was like, I'll have some fun Griff with that. Ball is, Griff Ball is really fun. So I think I might do that when Luke comes back or something. Or maybe we can do a Halo Wednesday again. It's been so long. Yeah, I'm down for Griff Ball, yeah. Because it's, it's three and three, I think. Ah, so. that's, that'd be cool. That'd be cool if we had our own teams, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm down for Griff Ball. Cool. We could cool. do, we could do, we do um, the stream that Kamala's for <laughs> first Griff Ball. Yeah, you can pop my Griff Ball, Terry. Yeah, right. That's good. It's going to be a violent pop, let me tell you that. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get penetrated hard. Okay, 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 I don't want to talk about this anymore. More news! More news. <laughs> More news. So, so, uh, other things that are getting released. I wanted to... Okay, hang on, on. I wanted to, I wanted to yeah. pull it back for a sec to yeah, yeah, uh, how Naughty Dog stole okay, okay. an image we'll from Ubisoft. Okay. Apparently, this isn't this isn't the first time it's happened. Really? What, with Naughty Dog? Apparently, oh. apparently, they did it in The Last of Us. They stole um, from Ubisoft? Yeah. No, 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 no. Or they, they just stole from art? Like a, he they uh, they stole it from a photographer. Uh, apparently, he had a subway system, like an uh, a mapping of the subway system. Oh, like one of those like London subway maps type things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it was copyrighted, and they they decided to implement it. Damn it, Naughty no, Dog! Nice. Now that all of the benefit of the doubt has gone out the window. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Kamal was being nice to you, and now I know, you've done that. That's so rare of me. Remember what we talked about you giving people benefit of the doubt, Kamal? Never works. No, right? And then people get on my case for being too freaking pessimistic. <laughs> I'm right. I'm right. That's why. <laughs> uh, Sad times. Right. Okay. Any more news. More news. Oh, uh, we're, we're, by the way, we passed the hour mark, so... We should probably start wrapping up games so we can talk about the other stuff. And right, then... so I'll, I'll just do one of this one and then we'll move on. Okay, cool. So, uh, also about announcing things. Yeah. Fallout 4 has announced its official mod tools. I know it makes no difference because there's been mod tools out since day one. It's good for consoles, though. Because yeah. uh, consoles mm, that's will get mods now. Yeah, yeah. This is really interesting. Like, um, so it's, a, it's uh, the first time anything like this has happened to consoles. Yeah, so it's coming out apparently in april so between the first two dlcs yeah. so i think the robot dlc is coming out in the middle of march i think so a couple of weeks yeah and then the combat arena like gladiatorial stuff is coming out in late april cool so it's gonna come out and apparently there's a there's gonna be a public beta for the model of, the pa of, of patch 1.4 which is the patch of the yes. model i believe so yes huh I'm really interested in how this ha works on consoles. I want them to like accidentally yeah, expose sure. a vulnerability that makes all the consoles get hacked. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that but it's, it'll be close. It might happen. But yeah, it's uh, it's cool. It's cool. Good for good mm. for console gamers finally getting on a level. Yeah, finally, console scrubs can find some monster. Yeah, took their time. Join the master race. Cause they're masked. Not that one, but I got I got a fancy laptop. I thought it's good enough for um Fallout Four. Yeah. We can do this. We can we can believe. Um. Right. Nice. Right, so we're moving on to TV and movies and stuff now, right? Uh. Is there is there one sec? Let me let me. Yeah yeah. We should do it. Yeah. We should we should move on. So there is one piece of news in TV that I am like crazy crazy hyped for. 
I found this the other awesome. day and I thought I had a feeling someone at least might <laughs> I didn't I I completely I've never heard about this. So Netflix, you know Netflix does originals, it does TV originals, it uh it mm. does movies now. It also has an animated original, uh, The Seven Deadly Sins already, right? Well, which let's is talk about that. Which is like fan service as hell and I don't like it. But you know, if mm. you like it, we respect you but we don't like no, it. We respect, you. we respect your opinions, <laughs> but it makes us like you less. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so they're they're making a new animated uh, show with the creators from the hit series Ghost in the Shell, which is like one of still one of like the most classic animes ever. Like when people it go, Ghost in the Shell is like old anime. Is yeah, genre. it's really it's old and it's like considered. I don't know much about anime, but I'm pretty sure I know. Yeah, it's considered one of have, like the I best used to have ever. PlayStation game for Ghost in the Shell. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah, you it... played. I thought I because I was a little one it came out. I always thought it was a Kabuto like the Pokemon. Because you're like in a little thing with like little claw arms, and I thought you were, that was what it was. Yeah. Let's uh, move on, because I, I have no idea what this is. Just t- tell, tell me more. Um, they, they go, just speaking of Ghost in the Shell games for a second. Uh, Ghost in the Shell also has a MOBA that's out right now that is a piece of crap. Okay. Hmm. Um. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, that's all. I don't know. I don't know a lot about it, honestly. <laughs> um, the uh, the animated series they're coming out with. I don't think they give that much information, have they? Um, um not as far as I can tell. But uh, it's just it's just something to look out for, I guess. Like if you're yeah. into anime or if you're into Ghost in the Shell, like it's uh, hopefully it'll be good because uh, those guys I'm those not, guys know already, what they're doing. I'm already watching like I'm watching current animes right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm slowly, I'm slowly turning Andy into a weeb. What <laughs> <laughs> the hell is a weeb? N- nothing. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna Google this. <laughs> um, what is a weeb? See, I, I know, I, I know, I have. Oh, oh, okay. I, can... I found an urban dictionary definition. That's for you. Yeah. <laughs> It says a one syllable contraction of weeb, which is. Whoa, Andy, phonetics. you're going super robot. You're going super robot. I don't know why. Did resist to my to my still robot now? No, no. Okay, start again. <laughs> okay, so, so it's it's a one syllable contraction of weabo, which is internet for weaponies. Yeah. And then in quotes, no, I don't collect anime figurines. What kind of weeb do you think I am? There you go. That doesn't explain <laughs> anything. That is it in context. I, I think no, I, I know this. I still don't know what a weeb is. Not a clue. I'm assuming I, it's a I assume, like, anime. I assume it's a wannabe, kind of. Yeah! We got another follower. The, 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 one, that, the one that loves cats. Oh, yeah. That X blank Conidas. X, X blank co- Conidas, I guess. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that somewhat resembles what... Uh, if, we, pr- if we pronounced it wrong, you shouldn't have such a really hard to say Twitch now. But those cats are beautiful. Thank for, but thank you for following that. Look, it's a white dude that's into Japanese culture, like heavily. Yeah, like like too heavily. I mean, I'm, I'm white. Like they're I'm trying like, to they're trying to adopt it. It's not actually like something. About, I was about to say I'm not into Japanese culture, but I realized I, I wrote an entire dissertation on Japanese culture for my. Yeah, but you're you're not you're not what they're talking about. They're talking about people into like stereotypical Japanese culture, not real Japanese culture. <laughs> like. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Like people people who fair think enough. that anime is a real life. I saw the cats. The cats are beautiful. They're, they've got like a heart. Like they're making a heart like out of their tails. It's adorable. Um. Uh. The, the term weeb though is so. It's so it's close like to you have an anime girl. Pillow. It's not. It's. it's never, I'm never getting an anime girl. Yeah, pillow. Diane knows what's up. <laughs> of course she does. Look, like, I get. Look, like, Diane, Diane and me, we're on the same page. Come out, come out. Do you have an anime girl pillow? No, not yet. <laughs> Maybe one day. We well, never know. Uh, that's, that's the dream, right? <laughs> My family would disown me. They would be fucking disown me if you get a girl pillow. Okay, <laughs> back to more, You're not more news. Is this a racist Jolly comment, Josh? Racist at all. Yeah, Josh, you've been racist again. Josh, look at cats. Look, my, my, my... Josh, look at cats. Josh, <laughs> look at cats. <laughs> Everyone knows if you don't look at cats, you're a racist. <laughs> Kamal has a... No, 
Oh yeah, you wish. You wish you'd been to my house. <laughs> not allowed. You're not allowed was in like a meter of ten meters, twenty meters, fifty. I'm gonna get a restraining order. <laughs> nice. It's good. Good call. Good call. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, what is Josh doing? I don't know what Josh is doing. What is Josh doing? He's looking at cats. He's looking at cats. <laughs> yeah, he's looking at cats. <laughs> we have well, while more Josh cats. Looks... Yeah. More cats. Um, my cats. Uh, cats. movies, movies, guys. Movies. Let's talk about movies. Okay. So I think Luke linked Pete's dragon, right? Yeah, he did. Uh, oh yeah, let's this is this up. is trailer time. Time to pause our video games yeah, and move on to yeah, trailer. Let's, let's look at the. I watched this trailer for Pete's dragon. I want to see if One you sec. have the same I need reaction to, that I did. I need to lower the yeah. the the balloon. The balloon. Uh, mm. right. Okay. Switching scenes. Ed says, says you've got to make food. I've got to. I've got to. We are. Uh, I mean, uh, look. I mean, I can. You. I can go to your house to do that. Like, you don't have to come to my house. No, you. No, Denmark's racist. You're not. Allowed. No one's allowed in my house except Josh and Cam. Okay. Anyway, we're playing the yeah. trail. Oh, what? An <laughs> Addy. <Yeah. laughs> there you go. In your face, everybody else. Wait, 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 wait. I'm pausing this. Diane has a body pillow. Well. Wow. Yes. Let's just have a think about that for a second. Okay, now we're going back to the trail. <laughs> I want to see if you think. I want to see if you guys have the same reaction that I do when you. I I have seen this already, so I guess we can talk about it as it plays. Okay. Okay. Um, okay fair enough. Uh, so, okay, so very the first different that, okay. to the Pete's Dragon movie. I remember. Was Pete's Dragon in a, a movie before this? I said I'd yeah. come to your house, Anne. Please. <laughs> 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 no, that's creepy. You're making this creepy. I'm trying to talk about a trailer here. <laughs> um, yeah, the, there's like the 80s or something. Uh, 1977. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a, Luke told me that there was an older movie. He was like, talk about this. So what I'm getting is Tarzan Child lives in forest, but meets Dragon. Yeah. Dragon keeps Tarzan Child alive, but then Tarzan Child is taken to city. Where he reveals Dragon to everyone in City. City doesn't believe him, but City comes to check for Dragon anyway. City finds Dragon. Am I correct? Is, the... is that is that is uh, that the story? Roughly, I think he's running away from like his he, he, aunt or something because she, she. I can't remember. It was I was a kid. But... Okay. What this about? Not nice at all. Do you guys are you guys interested in this? Anyway. Not the first thing uh, I thought not... about this was so everyone liked the CGI Jungle Book trailer. So they just gone with this. I guess. And I also I also thought that this dragon looks janky as buggers when it's flying away. Dude, I just realized that you can like kind of better see the dragon on this on this image at the end of it. And he's like furry. Yeah, I know, he looks weird as hell. I thought he was like a scaly, like scary dragon, but like He thought he was an actual dragon. Yeah. Not like some sort of weird kid's toy forest dragon yeah. monster. That was the only thing I had for this. It was just like, why does this dragon look so weird? I take back, oh wow, this doesn't look as silly as the original. I take back all of the hate on Pete's dragon no, I have look, mentioned. Was look, the first one anime? look as what? a kid, that yeah. movie was great. It is a kid's film. Yeah, I mean, it's a kid's film. So the maybe kid, maybe the what old. they're aiming for here is the nostalgia for the kids that grew up, but they're like, you don't want to watch a kid's film anymore. So maybe... Yeah, but you don't want to watch an anime at all, so we're going to make a live action fucking thing. I don't know. I don't feel like, like <laughs> why. Why are they just doing remakes of old movies? Because I it sells. Did not this is an old movie, so. Yeah, I mean. Also, many... like I told Luke, that's not necessarily a bad thing because they're introducing a younger generation no, to a story. That, like... Oh my god, this is nothing like the original. I'm looking this sometimes up right it's... now. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it's just right. unnecessary. Look at this, guys. Look at look at this. Yeah, I've just been having a look at pictures and stuff. It looks nothing like it. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's completely different. It's nothing alike. I mean, that's... Yeah, I mean, at least it's like a reimagining. I mean, there's a just... lighthouse in the first one. Isn't it better off lighthouse. if they're gonna remake a story that they do it in a different direction? Yeah, yeah I'd rather they did that. Oh, that, I mean, that dragon still looks janky as buggers, so... <laughs> I guess they're continuing it. <laughs> I do I see. Like the dragon. <laughs> no, I do I see. I feel like I prefer the swan. I feel like I prefer yeah, I like the I like your stupid little pink hair. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, do, do we have any other trailers that we want to show? Guys are ruining my childhood, you know. Or is the is the rest um, of it just news? 
the rest of it is just news, I believe. So, okay, I will go on. back to video game. So I'll go on to the next bit of news. So we've got apparently we found out that um the creator of Spartacus, Stephen S. Knight, is going to direct Pacific Rim Two. Um, I've never seen Spartacus, so I don't know if that's a good thing. Spartacus. Uh, I know I'm. I have. I have never seen Spartacus Isn't either. Is that? That's like the epic TV show. Yeah, it's like the epic TV show, yeah. I think. Uh, so, so I'm a, all I I'm got from that is that there's a Pacific Rim 2 and it's still being developed even after the rumours that it was getting cancelled and I'm hyped. Why would they cancel Pacific Rim? Pacific Rim was awesome. I don't think it sold as well as people thought it did. It's giant robots fighting monsters. Yeah, I know. That's what I was like. I was like, it's a Western take on mech anime. I'm in love it with it. It grossed $411 million worldwide. And 75% of it was outside of America, so... Sorry, I don't know, maybe they just feel like it didn't do that well in America? I don't know. Maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. They're still making it. Good, good, but good it's, stuff. It's apparently Denite's directorial debut, but he served as executive director and head writer for Daredevil for Marvel's Marvel's Daredevil on Netflix. Ooh, so Andy, your internet is just dying. Is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, you like randomly like break into nothingness and then come back. That's weird. I don't know why. You're back now. Director of uh, Marvel's Daredevil, you were saying. Yes. That's uh, what I said. Executive producer and head writer of Marvel's Daredevil. That's. Yeah. I mean, that's enough. You've won me. You've won me. Yeah, that's that's. I believe in you. I believe in you. Um. Uh, that's good. I'm excited. Do, do they have like a release window, or is it just like this is in development? No, it's I... in development. Yeah, I think so. Cool, cool, cool. That's not the one. Cool, cool, cool. I dig it. I dig it. Can you dig it? Yes, you can. Yes, I can. I can dig it. I can dig it. That's just childhood has been ruined forever. Don't be sorry, Diane. Be proud. <laughs> you did a good thing today. <laughs> um, okay, more uh, Zombie yeah, Land. I don't, I, don't, I don't think there's anything on it, just that he's going to be. So, remember that movie, Zombieland, that had that, uh, that that guy who played the guy in the social network, who played Mark Zuckerberg in the social network? The one network? who's not Michael Sarah, even though it looks the same. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, they look similar. Look, not... all white people are the same, right? Yes, truth. <laughs> truth being thrown out right here. Um, <laughs> but, like, I, I, I'm... That guy, that guy is so hit or miss for me, because I, I really like his acting if they put him in a very specific role. But as soon as they move him out of those kinds of roles, I feel like he's not actually a good actor. Like he's just good at that one. Like he's a one-trick pony. So he's, he's typecast already. Yeah, and yeah. I and I feel like that's probably for the best. Like I feel like he did a great job in Social Network, and I feel like he did a pretty good I job in Zombieland. The Social Network. I like Social Network. I, I don't know good. why. I, I never. I like him in Zombieland. It. You should watch it, Josh. It's 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 either good or very bad. Either way, you should watch it. <laughs> yeah, you can be you can be the swing um, boat. Yeah, it, it it it's that thing, isn't it? Like they get they get stuck in this role and they try to break the art and it doesn't always work. It's same with Marco Seri. He plays that like really awkward team. I don't. That's the thing, but I don't think he's I don't think he's he's being typecast as much as he is only good at that one type of role. Like like they have they put him in other roles and it just didn't work out in my opinion. <laughs> like it yeah, just didn't. Be one of those actors that just absolutely kills it in one particular role. Robot Andy is robot. <laughs> I don't know what You're back doing. now! <laughs> it's always like the <laughs> sentence after. Like, you'll have one, like, off sentence. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it, I, it's anyway. Just like a sentence that you, you're actually trying to say something, it'll yeah. be all. And then I'll mention it, and then I've wasted my time because you're back now, and. Uh... Okay. Um. Uh. So, we, we have, um. Just for the giveaway, I'm, I'm thinking we give it to one of the two new followers. Um, one of the new we'll followers. We'll have them fight to the death. Yeah, we'll have them fight to the death at the end. Anyway, uh, yeah, sure. moving moving back on topic. Zom so Zombie Land Two. Have any has anybody seen Zombie Land? Search for the Twinkie. That's what the I call it. Swords. That's what I call it. Sorry. Can you... No. Have you not seen Zombie Land? I've seen Zombie Land. Yeah. I yeah. thought you were referring to something different. No, I'm just saying that that's what basically the movie is. Oh yeah, pretty much. Uh, plus Bill Murray. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, did you like it? I liked it. I thought it was good. I liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was good. Like it. Are you excited that there's a new one? I'm interested. Mm. It, 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 it's Sony saying it's still in the works, which to me might as well be dead. Like, Sony's got so much stuff in the works, like, that means nothing. Yeah. Mm. True. 
But yeah, that, that is uh, that is other movie news. We're getting close to the end of the podcast here. Uh, next, there's um, not, not. Oh wait, there's more movie news. I just didn't scroll down apparently. Because <laughs> the. Yeah. So, uh, anything? Okay, so there's. There's a couple of tidbits, basically. It's all Batman yeah. vs Superman stuff, right? Yeah. So yeah. there's a the, the runtime has been confirmed, which is supposedly two and a half. 32 minutes, I think. It's a pretty yeah, standard, like, movie length nowadays, because movies have been getting longer. Yeah, because movies yeah. are longer as buggers now. Yeah. And, essentially, one thing saying that Ben Affleck rewrote part of the script dressed as Batman. Yeah, <laughs> apparently, like, during filming, he'd turn up on the oh, day ready why? to shoot his scenes, and he'd go through the script, and he wasn't happy with it, so that he'd rewrite it. But he would he had to dress in his Batman suit. Is Batman? No, he. I. Th- I think it was. It was more so that it was a day by day thing. So he'd be ready to shoot, and just before they shoot, he'd go through the script, and he wasn't happy. So he'd Wait, so on the spot, the writers let him do that. Like he's not the writer of the I film, right? So. No, but I think it's because apparently he's an avid, uh, an avid fan. Comic nerd. Uh, yeah. So he 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 you know is a lot of the like he's very much into the comics and stuff. So he has uh, I guess a bit more knowledge than the writers might have. I'm not sure. Yeah. So they might be like, oh, I g- go for it. I guess. Fair enough. I mean, if it makes it, if it makes it a better film. Well, that's what I was thinking too. But then you have the thing where he might he... want to do too much with it because he's invested. Yeah, he you might want to make he might want to make his parts stand out more than they should. Stuff like that. I feel like yeah. Batman's already going to stand out a fair bit on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, maybe trying to trying to ram into. Maybe, maybe he's like. Maybe, maybe he wrote that scene where he stopped Superman's fist, and and I proceeded <laughs> to go screw this movie, screw it, screw it right in its face. Superman flew through buildings like he was going through air. You cannot stop that fist. That is not a fist that's stoppable. Anyway. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm getting, I'm getting, uh, too, too deep into Batman vs. Superman. <laughs> um, so, so, Batman vs. Superman, fairly average film. Yeah, Super that's yeah. pretty much, yeah. That's probably what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go watch it in cinema. I'm actually gonna go watch it in, I'm giving it so much more than it deserves. I'm gonna go watch it in, uh, IMAX. Hmm. Because I have a friend coming over, and he has never been to a theatre before, so I was like, I'm gonna take you to the theatre experience. Yeah, so we're gonna so take... if you're gonna do it, go full hog, right? Yeah, that, and, and Batman vs Superman, unfortunately, is the only film that I'm even somewhat interested in that's out at the time. So, they mm. win, I guess. Yeah. In, in like, a very lack of winning way. Right, so, sh- shall we tackle a few, the last couple of bits of the news now? Uh, yeah, 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 let's do it. Alright, so, uh, one thing. Mm-hmm. We've talked about the... Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is a. This is big. This is. This is technology. This is an. Mm-hmm. This is a long story. Do you guys know what is happening with the Apple and the FBI? And do you care? Let's start there. I do. Well, I do because I, I. I. put the thing on the dump. So yeah, I know what's going on. Okay. Do you want me uh, to do a little. Uh, Josh. Uh. Uh. I. I mean, I. I guess I can understand the the why, but. I don't really know, I guess. Okay, and well, do I, I care? I don't, I don't know if I do. I think that was important, though. No. Well, I don't know what the thing is. Yeah, okay, so Andy, I can't make you, a judgment. Give, give us a little rundown on the situation between the Apple and the, FB, Apple and the FBI in America right now. Okay, so basically, was it, um, there was a guy who the FBI wanted to hack, unlock his phone. There was a, yeah, was there was, there was a, a shooting, yeah. Yeah, part of the San Bernardino. Yeah. Shooting. The U.S. government apparently wanted Tim Cook, who's the Apple boss, to give the go-ahead to unlock his iPhone mm-hmm. to um, essentially get in the information on his background sort of thing. Yeah. But Tim the Tim Cook um, refused because it was a defense of civil liberties. Yeah. And while a lot of people might think that would be something that they shouldn't have done based on what the person did, it's more of an um, statement of what they would do, like in general. It's like it's it's it's, it's, it's the it's the slippery slope thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, like so then if if they let that do that because he was a, he did the, a terror attack, then they would do people disrespected of terror attacks, and then it would just it just, it just slowly snowball. Yeah. 
I think there's a, I think there's a big thing as well. The FBI is kind of in control of a lot of the conversation here. Mm. So lots of so lots of websites are getting the skewed image of what they want Apple to do. And mm. and they people keep using this word unlock as if like it's a it's a simple task. But the FBI isn't actually asking Apple to unlock a phone. They're asking Apple to write software that will unencrypt yeah, every iPhone at will. That's what they're asking for. They're asking Apple to break their so own the, security. The, the, the term they used was like backdoor software so that it could get into his phone. Yeah, and, and this then... this is software See, Apple doesn't even have. They'd have to invent this software. The reason they don't have it is because it would break any security they already had. What's the point of having security if there's yeah. a program that's, that that's... breaks your security? What's see if they do that? What's to stop someone in the general public or the FBI from spying on random yeah, people? Yeah, one of his. You know what I mean? Like so, the FBI you lose it's, it's, complete privacy. To, 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 one of his quotes is literally, "We don't want to break anyone's encryptions or set a master key loose on the land." Yeah, uh, so the FBI, the FBI's response to this is, "Okay, make the software so that it only works on a specific serial number. So like we can only do it to specific phones." And that you have to sign off on it first before we can use it. And then Apple's response is, you don't seem to understand how programming works. If we make the software, someone will find a way around it. Like yeah. someone always does. They've already done the hard bit. All they'd have to do is like tweak it. So yeah. It work on any yeah. serial number. And that's like, that's looking at the bad, that's looking at the bad people, right? And then you can look at the good people, the FBI, the government, right? Mm. And, and that's where the slippery slope thing that Andy was talking yeah. about before comes in like many a forensic analyst uh i was uh was talking to the verge about this and he was like the, with the fbi it doesn't stop first it's oh give us it but you know limit its access and then it's like oh but we have so many phones we want to check out give us it without the limitation oh can you yeah. just can you just give us access to every phone it just it just gets worse and worse we go from like we want this guy to like we want the top 10 most wanted people or yeah whatever. So we want, we want like, every suspected. Watch, we want everyone on this watch list. Everyone who's done this thing. Anyone who's broken a law. And then, and then at that point, they're like, oh, this is just too much trouble asking you for all these keys. How about you just give us all the access? And then they go yeah, to the right. courts, and the courts are like, yeah, well, you already give them some access, right? So you've got to do all of it now. Yeah. And it's... But, like, if, if, it's so this, if, this, if this becomes a thing, right? Like, I have mad respect it's... for Tim Cook. And that's saying a lot for someone who really doesn't like Apple, like, and what they do. But like the yeah, fact that he's standing up for this, it. and it's gonna, it's gonna cost this company a lot because he's gonna have to fight this in court. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. it's uh, I have respect for him for, for standing it's up for what he thinks is most, right. Most of the major um, software companies backed him, so like, um, Google yeah. backed him, Facebook backed him, Facebook backed him. And An interesting thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Steve, uh, Bill Gates is actually on the FBI side, and he hasn't said a lot, so I don't actually know why he's on. I'm very interested in that, because I respect Bill Gates a lot as a guy, and I'm interested in why he is on that side Something of the Something I found interesting about it is um, John Mac Mac McAfee, the guy who does the McAfee security stuff, he volunteered to write code that would allow them to do that for the FBI. I don't know if you guys know, but that guy is like actually a psychopath. Yeah, he's a lunatic. I've seen videos about him. He is yeah, absolutely he, crazy. He like he was like living in Mexico for a while, just like in a drug den. Like he's like a proper mental case. <laughs> like yeah. I, so I the FBI really was like, no thanks. <laughs> you like, could mm. you could look. We want proper access. So we don't want to deal with you. <laughs> we don't want your janky software. <laughs> But yeah, but it's it's a mess. Because this is gaining so much attention. If anything did happen and they did end up writing this software to essentially a backdoor into uh, iPhones or Apple products, mm -hmm. then wouldn't the, if the, the people who are using iPhones who are potential terrorists that they'd be targeting or whatever, wouldn't they just go somewhere else? Wouldn't they just use something... Something that's I feel like more the secure. Would continue. So, like, once they've got the Apple stuff, like, done, yeah, that's why. The other phone that's why so Google. Done it. Yeah, that's why it's, Google it's and so. Facebook are on their side because it goes from Apple, it goes to Facebook, it goes to Google, it goes to freaking LG, it goes to like. After you set the the way like the way law works is after you set a president, you can use that yeah, anywhere to like, like convince other people to do. Otherwise. Yeah, because you just tell the the judge goes, well, we've already decided that this is a legal thing. So I have to side on the side of the law, the current law in place. And mm. it's very, very hard to get a judge to go against the current law because that's a big deal. Yeah. Um, like you said, it's already set a precedent. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's messy. 
and I don't I don't know that Apple can beat the government because that's basically what they're fighting. Fighting the FBI is so hard. Like because because yeah. like there is no way that in court that judge is gonna be unbiased. He's gonna like come in and defaultly be on the FBI side. You know? yeah, it wouldn't be surprised if there was some sort of extortion as well. It's funny, this is the only tight court case that Apple can lose. <laughs> the one against mm. the government. They could crush any other company under their fingers with all the money they have. <laughs> but the government, the government's a tough cookie. Yeah. I mean, hopefully they don't win us. But yeah. I'm not hopeful about us. Yeah. That's, that's I think a lot of people don't, about. like, and, and that's why I have an issue with the way the FBI has been phrasing it. Like, I think a lot of people don't understand what the big deal about it is. It like, was a really good political cartoon that gave up, that made it look pretty good. Yeah, because a lot of Let's people look at it and they're just like, what's the big deal? Unlock a bloody phone, you know? <laughs> Damn, Luke's been working out. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Freaking ripped ass. <laughs> uh, hey, Yippy, how you doing? I was um, going to say something. Yeah. What were you going to say? I can't remember, I forgot. Kamala just said that. What were you gonna say, Josh? Just remember it though. But yeah, I think we basically. Well, tell I think me we've to remember isn't helping. I think we've covered that pretty. clearly, pretty well. I don't know. I yeah. It's gone. Da 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 da. I'm, just, I'm still looking for this video, this um, cartoon. Uh, but yeah, so Apple, stand your ground, I believe in you. And I, and I, I like, it's one of those things that lots of people will be like, oh, you're from England. Why do you even care? You know? Why would that it, won't, be? It, won't just, uh, it won't just stay in America. Was, yeah, because, so. like, when, unfortunately, when America sets a law, it affects everybody. Like, it affects how governments here view stuff. And governments here are already super dumb when it comes to encryption. Like, Apple and Google and Facebook and Microsoft have already, like, made a treaty against what England's trying to do to encryption. So as if we need help to, like, screw it up by America screwing it up in front of us. And then us following suit and going, look, America's done it. Yeah. I can't find it, but essentially I think it was, um... It's all good. It was a picture, it was, it was like one iPhone and then it was like, a, it was essentially an inverted pyramid of iPhones going up. Yeah, and oh, I've seen this. With, yeah, with the hammer and it was going to knock that one on the bottom open and then obviously it would mean they all just collapse. Yeah. Mm. And then the caption was like, it's only for this one phone or something like that. How are we doing? How are you guys doing? E hippie ass. I'm doing good, E hippie. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all right. I, I am. I'm tired. Uh, we. Have... <laughs> okay, so uh, other other technology news. Samsung announced its new phone, um, the S7. It's basically the mm. S6, but kind of better, like a little bit better in every direction. Like slightly better camera, slightly better battery, slightly better processor, slightly better screen, slightly better like handheldness, slightly better design. S seven, it's a. I mean, like that's that's a solid like thing. Oh, like it's it's also waterproof. Is it also waterproof. Yes, fully waterproof. Mm -hmm. You can swim that's with the it. That's the important thing, right? You can yeah, you can swim with it, Andy. You can go into the All sea. All the phone calls you're going to Finally. make on your vacation away. Oh come on! Really, really? You guys don't like care? No, I feel like no, I feel like waterproof is very important. It's cool, and like, you. firstly, it's gonna like save you if you drop Look. it in a sink or whatever, but also like, I can take pictures of the water now, and it's got a freaking killer camera, so why wouldn't I want to? I mean, yeah, that's if... one of those things you would do just because you can. Yeah. I mean, it would help a lot of, with a lot of people who seem to drop their phones in toilets. Yeah. I my phone in the toilet, and I feel like it's gonna stay there. P -p 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 really? <laughs> It's an expensive to, device, Josh, Mr. To rich Pants. Toilet. It's just like, oh, I'm just gonna get a new phone now. It's right? a piece of shit now. <laughs> no, that's, a, that's what else is in the toilet. Yeah, that's a different story. No, let's not talk about that, then. Um, but yeah, uh, LG, on the other hand, announced uh, the LG G5, which mm. is actually very different. Um, L I'm, the I'm, L more, I'm more interested in the LG. I think I'll, I'll get some pictures <laughs> up of this. Uh, the LG G5 is a modular phone. So for people who don't know what that means, it means it comes, it goes, like, it's it's made of pieces. And you can remove these pieces and build them differently. So, like, the bottom of the phone actually comes out and you can, um, you can slot in different sections. So you can slot in, like, a camera section that gives you a camera button and better battery life and better grip to hold the phone in, like, a camera position. You can slot in, like, a, um, uh 
like a bass a speaker section like if you want to play music off your phone like in a public place and it adds a subwoofer and more speakers and stuff like that it's an it's an and interesting yeah. it's an interesting thing uh it's different and i like that i like different yeah. uh let me let me uh lg g5 uh that ad is very strange i, I do not like it but um the phone looks and it, the phone looks good too so like i mean that doesn't hurt uh, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. There's a camera module, and there's um, the fact that it has a wide-angle lens, I guess. But, you know, smartphones are really kind of getting to a boring place, and I'm glad they're trying to do something. Yeah. But, uh, mm. yeah. I don't think it's going to stop the, like, the slow in interest in them. Uh, yeah. So that's... that's... So... That's the that's the LG G5, and that's that's all tech news for the week. Yeah, because we already did VR, right? We did yeah. the VR one, yeah. I mentioned that to it. Isn't that like the first thing? Yeah, I mentioned that to you. Talk about the headset. Cool. Okay. That's why I highlighted. Well, that's the idea. I'm not looking at it, dude. I'm sorry. Right? Are we are we done then, guys? Yeah. Yeah, I think we can do a giveaway now. Can can anybody who's still in the chat holla? Just so I know, just just write just write holla at your boy because we're gonna we're gonna do a giveaway. Uh, uh, if you want to win, that is. If you if you're not interested, that's cool. Um, I'm gonna die and we're gonna start again. And whoever has hollered and kills me is gonna win a key to one of the many different games we have available. Um, there, there there's some stuff. There's some decent stuff there. I think. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of things. We we think. Uh, any awesome. anyone who knows us, you can holler too. Um, E Hippie has hollered. Ben has hollered. <laughs> ben 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 gonna win Ben's twice. Ben's going for the two. Ben's going for the two for. Holler out. <laughs> <laughs> hollered. Okay, we've got a couple. Uh, holler out, my boy. Okay, SP. Kind of weird. Okay, sweet. We've got some peeps. I'll some peeps hollering. Okay. Uh, you guys keep you... on track of anyone else joins in in the hollers. Are you I... meant to be like full screen again? Come on. Oh know? yeah. <laughs> Let me help you out there. There we go. Can I, can I haul out? Can I, can I be... Can no, I... you're not allowed. <laughs> Luke wasn't ben, allowed yesterday. Ben says, oh, don't let me win, please. <laughs> I mean, look, it's it's random, right? Nice. I'll, I'll, tr I'll try my best to kill you. Right now, you've got one in three chance. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a pretty solid chance. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean you might still do it. <laughs> da 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 Da, da, da. Let me switch. Let me switch the music back on. <laughs> I, sh I should play. Uh... Okay, uh, come on, come on, guys, bring it. Is there anything you guys want to talk about while while this goes on? Because I don't know. I plan to make this long. <laughs> I plan to make them suffer. No, I want to see. I want to see how this plays out. Da da da. Mm -mm. I'm just hoping that the Pokemon movies are already already once I've finished them. Um, once the stream's over. Pokemon movies. I'll, I'll oh yeah, what are they? What are they doing now? I'll I'll check for you right now. I was curious to install that to see if I'm VR ready, just because I'm curious to know if I am VR ready. But there's yeah, like right. an hour download, and I'm not bothered. Because <laughs> there's gonna be something what that you look at once. And then, oh, oh, if I can just oh, right, it. right, right now, Pokemon are playing the Pokemon trading card game. So we got we got time. It's fine. It's Pokemon fine. trading card game. Super interested. <laughs> I'm I'm not. Do you know they have a world championships for that? But that the actual game. Yeah. Or like the, the wait the cards. cards the cards. The cards. That well, doesn't really. surprise me. It honestly doesn't. I'm surprise not surprised, me. but that still seems really really strange. Yeah. Uh, people people get super intense and people cheat. I never crap. understood how the Pokemon card game works. So. No, neither did I. I'm, I'm right there with you, man. I'm yeah, like, what, what are these this? energy cards? What are these? I don't need these. I just have lots of cool Pokemon, right? If anyone new shows up in chat, we are doing giveaways. Pro tips. And I just got lasered to hell. Oh, God. This is the end. Oh. No, E-Hippie, I refuse. I ref Oh. I hate Diane just down hollowed out as well, so. No. Um, oh no, oh, oh, unless you said stop about the T series. I mean, it's you, over you? anyway. It's over. Oh. E Hippie okay. won. Oh, there we go. E Hippie, e -hippie won. is the victor. Let me let me go find out what oh, wow. games, what game keys I got. And I, and, I, and I will yell at you, and you can pick one. Um, 
It turned out that the the key that I may have had come out, it was already redeemed. I found out. See, I, I, I thought that might have been a thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, e hippie. We've got some weird games. You you can by the way you can Google them to like find out if you don't know uh, what they are. We've got um, Bridge Constructor Playground. I don't know what that is. I've got that. That is. Uh, I've got that game. We've got um, Cubeman Two. We've got uh, Thomas Was Alone. Oh, solid choice. Yeah, Thomas Was Alone's pretty Thomas good. Alone. Good game. Good game. We've got Cities in Motion Two, uh, which is like a city builder, I think. We've got Orcs Must Die, Game of the Year edition. That's supposed to be really good. Uh, The first one, at least. We've got um, the Sanctum Collection, which is kind of like... uh, It's like a tower like protection (laughs) game, but like you're one of the people protecting the tower instead of like the overarching strategy view. Um, And that's that's what we got. That's what we got. Um, Unless unless one of you guys has keys that they can give away to. Uh, not really. Yeah, I, I, I went keys. through and I couldn't see anything. I don't think I have any keys. I'll have a check. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let me look at let me look at my inventory. See if I've got any stuffs. Uh, I think Oxmas Die is meant to be like really yeah, good. Yeah, I think our brother's got Oxmas Die. So it's really good. Yeah, I I I don't I don't got anything right now. I don't think. Mm 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 you know, double checks. Hmm. So. And now we, and now we wait. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Thomas was alone! Thomas was Good. alone! To e Okay. Choice. Give this link to your friend. Okay. Uh, I'm going to whisper it to you. Uh, just tell me in chat if you get it. e I need to make sure I type that right. E double H I P. It might help if you didn't repeat the code out loud. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I, I don't send a code. I send a gift link. Okay. Oh yeah, it's the Steam one, right? It's a uh, humble bundles. Oh, humble bundle, right? Okay. Uh, I sent. I, I sent you a whisper. You should have it. Uh, if you have if you have any issues with it, uh, just whisper at, back at our channel, and we'll send you. Uh, we'll send you another one or something. And I think that's us. Yeah. For the day, guys. I believe that is us, yeah. yeah. We might do giveaways more often, so... I guess come back for that, if anything. <laughs> yeah, come back for some free stuff. Not for the news, for the free stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, he said he got the link. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Right. Hey. Okay. Enjoy your game. I think we are... If, uh, uh, we are if you miss today's, tonight's podcast, wherever you're from, uh, or any other podcasts that you may be interested in, which I don't know why you would... Uh, you can view those at our YouTube archive channel, which uh, we have a link for that in the descriptions below. Uh, also, if you have any news that you want us to cover, or that you're interested in, or that we may be interested in, you can tweet at us as well. We'll yes. also give you a, sh- we'll give you a shout out if you, if you sent us that news as well. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, we'll be here next week at 9pm. No, we won't. No, we won't, because Kamal's not here, so... Uh, yeah, no, we are actually taking next Saturday. we're not here. Yeah, so so it takes us about eagle next week, but the week after that we'll we be will back. be here. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have a backlog of double news. Maybe. But you can stop <laughs> by next week if you want. There just won't be anything here. Yeah. Thank you for coming and checking us out. Yeah. Peace in the mm, Middle ciao. East, Holmes. <laughs>